Good morning, Lion Hearts. It's your old pal Jordan the Lion walking right in the middle of the street here in Budapest and getting a little bit of a late start because I was up late last night editing our vlog that you're watching, well, right now, but when you're watching this, it would have been yesterday. I know, it gets confusing, doesn't it? Anyway, I'm having a blast here in Budapest. On the docket today, first time I'm taking public transportation while I'm here. Where I'm going is so far away from where I'm at right now that I have to. And our first stop is, I don't know, I have it narrowed down to two places. Either we're gonna hit the Pinball Museum, or, because I think it's only like a buck, or, and, for sure, the statue. I almost don't wanna tell you, but I'll tell you this. This is a character from television that has popped up so many times in my life. When I was a kid, my grandma used to talk about this guy. When I moved out to Los Angeles, my friend Kevin would always talk about this TV show. And now I'm friends with Adam the Woo, and Adam the Woo mentions this guy a lot. When I found out there was a statue here, and actually why it was here, I have to come see it. So I'll tell you when I get there, but he's a popular character from United States television. Let's go. Days of Jordan the Lion begins now. Look at that. Club Alcatraz. Pretty cool. The Bar of Doom. Well, I decided to take a little detour when I saw these statues over here. You know me. You put a statue somewhere and I'm gonna stop. Now let's look at that church behind us. Look at this. Wowza. You want detail, this place has it. Obviously, a church. And I know it's a little uh, flooded out by the light, but just the silhouette looks great to me up there. Mother Mary. The downside to public transportation, I can't speak the language and I can't read it, so I gotta figure it out on my own. Basically my goal is just to hop on a bus and take it all the way to the Danube and then walk from there. Oh yes, you gotta love it. I certainly do. I am gonna do a lot today, but today's a little bit of an easier day for me. I'm gonna see a lot of places, but they're all close to each other because I have some pretty bad blisters on the bottom of my feet. Well, we are here, our destination for today. Well, the first one is right over there. And here it is. Here it is. The man who made the phrase, just one more thing before I forget, sir. That's right. Columbo. Now, I was kind of perplexed as to how or why they would have a Columbo statue here. And what I read was that they said that Peter Falk's lineage was supposedly Hungarian. Now what they said was they've never actually been able to verify that or verify that he was um, really related to anybody from here or had any ties to here, but they just wanted to do a statue to him. And whoever ends up getting my next pair of green sunglasses, Inspector Columbo will be wearing them. Not bad, Columbo, not bad. A little something for the misses. And I do believe if I would've came to Budapest and not seen the Columbo statue, I might lose some friends out of this, so there he is, Inspector Columbo. How cool is that? And if you're looking for it yourself, you're gonna have to look for this little alley sign. That should give you some sort of idea. All right, we're out of here. Take care, Columbo. Just one last thing before I go. Thank you for being here. That was a total treat to get to see something like this. Check out all this. And I need to go look at that. That's some sort of performing arts center. 
because they're advertising Hamlet, but they have a few statues and just yeah. an ornate, amazing looking building. Let's walk across the street and see it. Wow! Look at that one across the street. They actually wouldn't let me in. I walked in, they said it's some sort of private deal, so. I mean, that's okay. I, I don't need to go in everywhere, and I don't even know what that building was, other than it looked like it was a uh, theater company of East Europe or something. I don't know if I told you guys this, but th th what's kind of crazy about Budapest is that at one point, when the Danube divided it from Buda and Pest, one side was considered being in Europe, whereas the other side was considered part of Asia. Isn't that crazy? All right, on with our next stop. And yes, of course, I have been wondering how Jaw's doing. Of course I miss Jaw. I'll be glad to get back and see him. I mean, I'm having a blast, don't get me wrong, but it's tough. It's kind of like being separated from your kid. This looks like a thrift store. I gotta go see what's inside. This place is great. They have all kinds of amazing vintage stuff in here. Stuff I would love to buy if I was able to get it home. Look at that, a Yokozuna bag. I think I'm gonna go back to that store and I'm gonna buy that Yokozuna bag because they only wanted 2,000 forinth, which is like, what, it's a little over a dollar per 300, so it's like, what, six bucks, seven bucks? pretty vintage, it's a little like tattered and stuff, but they weren't even open today. They were doing some packing or something and I just happened to walk in and I just don't want to carry that around with me all day, so. Now, I think we're at the Pinball Museum. Well, I stopped by the Pinball Museum. It's actually called the Flipper Museum, but um, it was like 12 bucks to go in and I don't feel like playing pinball games. I just want to, I mean, I love pinball, but more than video games, but I'm just not here for that. I was just gonna show some of the games, so. We're not gonna go in. We're gonna head over to the uh, Hungarian Parliament building, which I wanna see at night because it's supposedly really amazingly lit up at night. I can 100% guarantee these shoes are getting trashed when I get back. I have worn them out on the insides, on the bottoms, and they stink like a monkey's cage. No earthly idea why that guy's there, but he's there. This is highly unusual. Look at that. It says 1935. Wonder what the significance is. And if you needed one more reason to love Budapest, they let the seven dwarves drink here. If these are what I think they are, it's genius. Good luck somebody trying to steal your car if you put that thing up. See what I mean? Well, we've done something right. We made it to the Danube. Now we just have to walk a bit down this way. Blisters and all. And I absolutely do plan on taking a evening boat ride while I'm out here. I wanna see the city all lit up. And what I'm potentially thinking of doing is I'm thinking when I do that night boat cruise, since I edit the videos at night and it's gonna be so hard to transfer files and get it up on time, I think what I'm gonna do is I'll just make that its own vlog. Since I'll be flying back and all that stuff, maybe instead of a travel day, cause I'm leaving, the day that I leave, I actually leave at like 9 a.m. So I'm not gonna be able to film that much that day. So I think maybe that day, we'll start the vlog there and kind of end it when I'm getting on the plane. Maybe, we'll see what happens. Look at that. They even put statues over there on the bridge. Now, since I've been in Budapest, since I was editing Michael and Christina's wedding video before I came and finishing that up, I have had this turtle song happy together in my head the entire time, until today. It was replaced by the theme from Fraggle Rock and I don't know why. Didn't see Fraggle Rock, saw nothing in any store that reminded me of it, and yet, all I can hear in my head is, time to get away. See all these people out here fishing? There's a statue to Kovacs Bela. I've seen his name quite a few times since I've been here. Well, that is pretty rad. Look at that. It's like the Olympic rings in Budapest colors. I'm always amazed what other cultures do 
to decorate their cityscapes and this city is no disappointment for sure. Well, here we are. One side of Parliament, and it doesn't look as fantastic or amazing, but once we're in the water and we see it from that angle, you're gonna love it. It is pretty interesting. And they do offer full tours, but I'm just not gonna do it because it seems like they're extremely long, and um, I can't do an entire vlog of just the Parliament building. But check that out, all the statues right here in the center with that big lion on top. And then right behind it, we'll go back in there too, there's more um, kind of, where is it, like right here, there's more statues. I'll try and get up as close as I can and I'll even walk in front and see if I can get a little bit of the angle in front before we see it at night. Well, there is definitely no shortage of respecting their history there, that's for sure. Man! How awesome is this place? Look, they even have a, a guard out here guarding the place. See if we can get a little bit more in there for you. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Now I believe that figure right in the dead center, I believe that is St. Stephen. Now, just in case you were wondering, they actually started building the Parliament Building in 1885 so that they could have it done and ready to be opened on the thousandth anniversary of the, basically, Hungary becoming its own independent country. And so that, of course, was the millennial celebration of 1896. So they had it done in time. And pretty much the reason they even put it there was because around that time in 1885 is when there were actually three cities around here that united to become Budapest. Here's the corner to backside of the Parliament building. And of course, more incredible statues including a man beating the drum. If you really take in what's going on here, it's actually rather beautiful. Just take a look. Carrying the flag. And there's also another side to that statue as well. And then look at this museum. Now what you can see is right across the street. You see where that kind of photo is right there? What that says is World Press Photo was taken right in that spot. Oh, look at that. I think that's a good idea. I want to go down there and do a little bit of footage with this in the background. Now I call this the backside of Parliament, even though it looks like the front because when they designed it, they designed it with the full intentions of the front facing the river, Danube. And these surround the flag. Oh, good timing. What we're watching right now is actually the changing of the guard. I never get sick of lions. Never! They have a keep off the grass sign here so I can't go any closer.
you're probably thinking, are you gonna show us every statue you walk past? No, you'd be surprised at how many I walk past and don't film. And this whole walkway is full of busts. This guy must be rather important because he's the only one that has wreaths out here right now. Now that is a really unique piece of art right here on the side of this building. Check all these out at the top of this museum. It's uh, actually the Museum of Ethnography. Now to our next destination. Until next time, Parliament. All right, now we're on our way to see another statue, and this one actually ties in to something that I saw at the uh, House of Terror. I had written down that this guy had a statue out here, and then once I basically saw his, his um, trial inside the House of Terror, I decided that I absolutely was gonna go see this while I was over here. This is not a walking bridge, this is part of the monument, and this is what we came to see. This is the statue of the man I told you about when we left the House of Terror named Imran Nagy. And he was the guy who they tried to make false accusations as they did with everyone. And they had him inside the House of Terror. He went through the trial, said that he was a scapegoat, said that he would not confess to things he didn't do. An innocent man. He's now a Hungarian hero, and I really wanted to come by and pay respects to him. <laughs> Check out these little things you can rent. I've seen little signs saying that you can rent them all over the city. Now, not too far from that statue, we're actually gonna go see another statue, an American. I don't exactly know why they have this here, but I'm hoping in the time that I'm over here, I can either research it or I can maybe find out over here why they have a statue of Ronald Reagan. That is undoubtedly a Soviet statue. Do you see the hammer and sickle in the center? Kind of strange. Not strange, but I mean, it's just... I guess I get it. I guess I get it. If you don't see the history every day, possibly doomed to repeat it. Now, like I said, I don't exactly know why he's here, and they don't really have any explanation as to why he's here, but I've been to a few presidential libraries in my life, and his is by far my favorite. Pretty good likeness. In fact, I dare say that's more, that's more governor of California era than president era. I don't know, what do you think? Pretty cool. Couldn't believe they had this here. When I heard they did though, I had to come by and see it. Just showing you all the rooftops surrounding this park that I'm in. What's up, Chief? Now this magnificent place is actually called the Hungarian House of Art Nouveau. And I may have to get the zoom lens just to show you all the intricacies of this. Maybe not. Look at that. Isn't that incredible? Man, I love that kind of stuff. And it's a museum that I planned on going to, however, it's closed right now. You can kind of see inside a little bit to an extent. Mostly from what I see, it's paintings and little tabletop pieces. All right, now we're going to another of the extremely sad places on this trip. We're going to see the Shoes on the Danube Monument. Here you can see that this building was built in 1901. You know, I was talking on the phone last night to the girl that I'm dating back in the US and I was telling her I'm really happy because I finally kind of get to live out my dream where I always just wanted to be able to maybe watch a documentary, read about a place, 
and then actually be able to go. And now with this channel and all you great people that watch me, it's like I'm finally getting to do it and I, I'm getting to inspire people to travel places maybe they wouldn't have gone before, but for people that aren't able to travel, I'm able to bring my style to places all over the world and I love that. And So thank you so much guys for watching and just supporting everything I do. I really do appreciate it. And here's the other side of Parliament that we haven't seen yet. And like I said, I'm going to save the front section till we do that night boat cruise. And I'm pretty sure that's the boat I'm going to take when I take it because the guy at the hostel said that the city actually has a boat that goes up and down the river. Like I said, this might be one of the saddest places that we go on this whole trip. As you can see, these metal shoes are actually fixed in place here yeah. and what they represent as you saw on that sign was all of the Jews that were slaughtered on this bank by the Nazi party and as you can see in a lot of the shoes people have put little pebbles or little rocks as a symbol of you know that you're thinking of them and this is just a really good monument to man's inhumanity at one point in time. To think that they would have been lined up right here on these banks and just shot right into the Danube. Just absolutely horrible, horrifying, and disgusting. This is the kind of stuff that really makes you think. It really makes you think. I guess I will just never understand how you can live with hate in your heart or hate a group of people that you don't even know. I just, I don't understand how it, you can hate a person because of their religion or where they're from or their sexual preference. I, I, I just, in my entire life, I've never understood that. I, I don't get that closed-minded, I just never understand it. And when I see stuff like that, it just infuriates me when I see the petty stuff that people hate on. And I know when I was in Sweden, and also when I've been in Los Angeles, I have shown you different monuments and statues to Raoul Wallenberg, and, or Wallenberg. And he ties in very closely to this because what he did for the world and what he did here was, he was responsible for kind of helping people or trying to stop the people that were sent to concentration camps. He was fighting with 250 other people to try and stop them from being rounded up and taken away. And for that, I will always show any monument to Raoul Wallenberg. Now what I think I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna cross over to the Buddha side and I'm gonna hit the uh, Vili Beige bath, the thermal bath over there. Like I said, there's like 12 or 13 of them here in Budapest, so I'm gonna hit one of the lesser known ones and hope it's not quite so crowded. Actually, I think I'm gonna backtrack a little bit. I'm gonna walk back towards um, Parliament and I'm gonna show you the front of Parliament on the little sidewalk. And then I'm gonna go back up towards where the Columbo statue was, the very beginning of the vlog. I'm gonna get something to eat. There were a lot of really great eateries up there and I haven't eaten yet today and I haven't had a coffee yet today. Totally unlike me, especially on the second. Now that is technically the front of Parliament. Wow. The detail here just blows my mind. Kind of what I've learned since I've been here, and if you're gonna travel here, you should know this, it seems like it's a little bit more inexpensive or a little bit less expensive, I guess would be the word, to stay on the pest side, not the Buddha side. And this is the other half of the front of parliament. I mean, it's a big building, I'm telling you. That's why I said the tour would take forever.
I told you we were coming by again, and I told you I would see you again, sir. Just one more thing, or just one more time. I think this might be our place. Some sort of Turkish restaurant. The prices are pretty good. I'm kind of thinking this chicken shawarma wrap deal. So I did opt to get my food here. I got like a chicken shawarma sandwich, like I said, and altogether it was only a thousand forinth. Um, they have like a self-service kind of buffet inside, but the line was so long, I just decided to go up to this window and order a sandwich over here. Safest bet. So here you go. There's my bill. 1,000 forint and converted to US dollars, that is $3.86 for this sandwich and that water. All right, gang, time for the taste test. Well, right away, the tahini is amazing. The chicken's amazing, the vegetables are amazing. Good choice for uh, $3.80. Yep, just keeps getting better and better the more you get into it. All right, well, we're waiting on the bus. We're gonna take the nine over to Elvis Presley Park, and then we're gonna hit the baths. Well, we have made it to the Buddha side. Now, next stop, Elvis Presley Park. Well, you gotta love any country that has an Elvis Presley Park. Let's see if they have a statue or anything to him. Well, I see no statue to Elvis. Maybe it's just a park in name only. Well, they do have this statue, but that's not a version of Elvis I've ever seen, so I'm gonna go with not Elvis. All right, we're leaving the Elvis Park and we're on our way to that bath right there. We are so close. All right, it's this place, kind of a more modern looking place, but there's a kind of an old Art Nouveau building in the back. That's what we're going to right now. All right, let's go see what this has in store. This one's great. You're not really supposed to be filming or taking photos in here, so I'm doing it sporadically. This is the colder of the pools. I've just been doing contrast like crazy, like hot, then medium, then cold, then medium, then hot, then aroma sauna, so we're getting a lot in out here. This is one of the smaller pools. You really feel like you're kind of in a palace in this one. And that is what we were just inside of, guys. All right, gang, I'm out of the bath. Here's my little review of that one. First off, by far my favorite. Least congested, half as expensive as any of the other ones. This one was only um, 2,800 forint, which is like $10.80 or $10.81. Perfect. Now, one thing I did notice, by far, way more women in there wearing the Andre the Giant swimsuit than I've ever seen anywhere else. The like, the like classic um, tough man uh, sideshow weightlifter, you know, one strap thing, all over the place in there. I don't get it. And while we're talking about bathing suits, I realized why mine was only six dollars on Amazon. Every time you get in the pool, it bubbles up like you're farting. So, I guess that's the price you pay for a cheap bathing suit. Now I'm gonna make my way back to the hostel and start editing the video. What a day, what a great day, but I am beat. The great thing about those thermal baths is when you get out of there, it's like you almost feel euphoric because you've been going through so many body temperature changes that you just, your joints, everything feels so much better. So worth it. I'll just let you sit and think about this one.